Hello, my name is Dennis Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions, Homestead, Florida, USA. It's September 23rd, 2024. It's uh, 715 a.m. in the Redland Farm area, northwest of Homestead, Florida, USA, south of Miami, north of Key Largo, at the southern end of the Florida Turnpike. Uh, today, I have lots to do. Uh, this is the Kelsey Hayes 4WAL ABS system used in uh, the first generation, I believe it was. Uh, they came out with a Kelsey Hayes 2WAL and then went to a 4WAL and then later came out with a model 325. Uh, if there's any good information, please give me a thumbs up in these videos. Um, I like thumbs up when I see them. I appreciate it. Uh, I have some errands to run in Homestead. I need to take that radiator back to Napa and pick up uh, some uh, 5 16 by 3 quarter Woodruff keys at Napa for my two... Sierra 2003 Craftsman GT 5000 tractor with a 25 horse Kohler Commander engine. It keeps sharing the the uh, keeps sharing the Woodruff keys. And about a year ago or so, maybe less, I took a piece of <clears throat> I'm looking for it piece of brass and uh, I made a shim that went goes between the crankshaft and the flywheel and that seemed to help it but I'm thinking that this spring washer it's a special washer I need to get another one of those because I I don't know if this one has lost its spring or what but it doesn't seem to be compressing the the flywheel onto the crankshaft enough and a flat washer won't help uh, but uh, and it and this bolt is deformed for some reason, so I need to find a 3 a 16 bolt to replace this with a better bolt. Uh, I'm sure that's a good bolt, but it's really old uh, since 2003. It appears it might have lost its tension and it doesn't want to start anymore. So <clears throat> got to replace that bolt. Uh, also got to run some other errands in Homestead uh, while I'm in there. Once I get in the car, I like to try to do things, and I like to do it at off times with the school zones and, you know, the people that got to get to work. So, uh, a lot to do today. I'm going to start with uh, trying to go through my GT5000 mess uh, parts for the GT5000 and organize that better. This section of the workbench I haven't uh, looked at in a long time. It's been where I throw everything and uh, so I'm trying to go through this and get organized early in the morning to get my brain tick ticking. You know, speaking of tick 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 tick. Um, so but once I get uh, the radiator in on Wednesday, I want things to move along rapidly uh, towards getting the 1994 Astrovan project actually drivable again. So today, uh, the plan is I'm going to work on the AC uh, air conditioning compressor supports a little more, a little bit more on the wiring. Uh, I do want to put more flex paste on the windshield. I wanted to do it yesterday, but I, 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 I had too many things to do. I don't know where the time goes. It just flies away. Uh, you know, and I, at the end of the day, I review these videos, and I'm like, where did the time go? What did I spend it on? How much time did I spend uh, on the computer, you know, trying to manage the information and do research and, you know, to keep this project moving forward? Um, so, audience, appreciate uh, your watching. 
Uh, I am not trying to get the biggest audience. I am not trying to make any money on this, although I may if I ever get my subscriber level uh, up to 4,000. It's it's around 433 now, which is significantly more than before I started this documentary. So thank you, subscribers, and subscribers know you can join or drop out at any time without consequence. I I really want quality subscribers uh, or not you know you know what I mean if you have an interest if you have an interest and this is I get down to the nuts and bolts and you know for the enthusiasts that need to know you know dormant part number you know etc and I try to put the camera on it long enough that you can read it without me having to read it in my droning voice and I hope you like my sense of humor. I, I like watching I Do Cars with uh, Eric. And, uh, you know, I like watching Vice Grip. Vice Grip. Uh, what is it? Vice Grip? You know. Yeah. Anyway, these TV shows, I, I like watching them. But a lot of them are fan fantasies. They just, they show you the start of the project. Then they show you the finished project. And it's just, you know, in between A and Z is magic. Believe me, there's no magic. There's no magic one. But anyway, back to the ABS. Usually what kills these things is the control board fails and burns out the motor. That's one failure scenario. The other is cold solder joints on the hermetically sealed circuit board. Now, this circuit board doesn't seem to be hermetically sealed. And I know people, uh, so I think it's, I think it's this circuit board that I need to get at and reflow the solder on it because it's got a power relay you know anyway I'm an electronics engineer so I can handle the messing with the electronics because I do want to get this ABS working now this one has a bad motor and uh, the one that's in the van has a good motor and the way you test it is you, you put power right there right there hello focus am I zoomed in too much or zoomed in out too much right. I could never get this cam I need a new camera people but I'm gonna use this one till it completely dies it's half dead already and uh, to you have to bleed these things you bleed the brake system then you gotta bleed the ABS because the first time it activates it'll you'll you'll get a spongy pedal unless you bleed it and it's got these little clips that go on here on these towers to depress this pin and there's a special bleed procedure and uh, the best way to know how to do that is there's a video on the uh, that General Motors did for their service technicians back in the 90s but this unit was used on a very large number large numbers so I'm sure you can find some in salvage yards just sitting there waiting to be pulled out and and looked at and see if you can re bring it back to life. They're worth they're worth a lot of money if they're operational because there's some parts of the world you can't pass inspection if you have a uh, ABS light on. Uh, and you say, well, I can't get parts for it. And they say, well, you know, too bad you can't use your vehicle anymore in you know places in the world that have strict inspections and uh, you know if somebody wants to drive a vehicle without the air ABS working I think that's a personal decision anyway I'm not going to drone on much longer I'm just trying to tell you I have a lot to do today uh, I'm going to start with organizing in my workspace here early in the morning well it's and I'm going to put uh, t probably one shim on the starter and then try to check it um, also because I'm not happy with how I've got the starter installed uh, I've got to cut I got two shims and I'm gonna put in one first and then see if I can measure that twenty thousandths of an inch that's supposed to be there alright people uh, 
Again, thank you, audience, for watching Dennis Seatsman, Dennis John Seatsman Productions. This is a documentary. This is not a how-to. Uh, this is uh, for enthusiasts um, and, uh, you know, or people that want to learn uh, from enthusiasts. And uh, do-it-yourself work can be very dangerous. Death or injury can result do it yourself work is done at your own risk. Thanks for watching. Next segment. It's 10 a.m. I think it's the. Can you read that? 22nd or the 23rd? 23rd of September 2024. This morning I got the uh, air conditioning bracket rod that goes to the intake. To the back of the compressor and it's a m8-125 flange head bolt but i think the one i have is way too long uh like 30 millimeter so uh this uh, fine thread it's a 125 m8-125 so when i run my errands today in homestead i'm going to get uh 10 and 20 millimeter m8-125 uh 10 and 20 millimeter flanged head at O'Reilly after I go to Napa. And I'd buy the bolts at Napa because they're dormant, but uh, for some reason uh, Napa is way high on their dormant bolts. Their markup is a lot higher for some reason than O'Reilly. So, and AutoZone has them too, but O'Reilly has the best selection. So I order online and then I go pick it up. And uh, I could order online from Amazon, but I want them today. And uh, got some other errands to run over on Biscayne Drive. Got some packages to drop off for returns. And at Napa, I'm trying to... Um, oh, dear. What am I doing at Napa? I'm trying to return the radiator that's def that arrived damaged. Uh, in the box was damaged. And... Uh, I already ordered a replacement. It should be here on Wednesday of this week. Today is Monday. And uh, this is a documentary, not a how-to. Now, as far as these bolts go, uh, I need to get a stud for the rear side of the number three cylinder exhaust. You can see the rod coming down from the compressor on that. And... Uh, I also got some other weird thing going on. That third rod, I can't figure out the thread on the last one. The, this is really a, a strange contraption here. Let me get the camera on it. That piece, whoever manuf... They had a specific reason because it's a, it's a crafted part. You know, they welded this... You know, they definitely wanted it on there for some reason. General Motors did. And I'm not quite sure why, because they got plenty of support on this compressor already. But hey, I'm trying to put it back like factory, so I'm going to have to go probably to GM parts today and get the part number, or sent, or go to the dealer. Probably the dealer. I don't think they'd have it online. This this bolt for the, you know, it would be part of the bolt set that you know they keep getting wrong. And I have a bolt set to pick up at Napa. That is said to fit this, but I, it's not going to work. It's it's going to be wrong. It's going to be something somebody guessed at it, instead of specking it out properly. So I'll talk to Napa when I'm there, and uh, got some other errands to run in Homestead, like going to the post office and oh my, I don't know if I'll get any work done on this today, uh, besides what I've got done, but. Uh, Part of working is being organized. So I'm going to put this back, uh, this bolt here will go on the back side of the number one exhaust. I took it off because I thought a stud went there, but I was wrong. Let's go in the workshop. I'll show you what I did so far today. I've been working since early today. And your workspace is really important when you have so little like I do and I built this workbench myself years ago 
but uh, I brought everything in because I want to put away all my tools and then start anew and uh, this is for the the this is for the GT 5000 Kohler that's a Charlie Victor what is it 730-0017 Kohler Commander engine and it keeps uh, splaying my uh, woodruff key for some reason as soon as it has any stress on it like starting the engine so don't know what's causing that probably this spring washer is not springy enough anymore it almost is like a flat washer it's supposed to be a spring washer this is supposed to compress the fly, uh, the flywheel onto the crankshaft is the purpose of that thick spring and this is a standard bolt except it's a weird size it's a it's not an inch and a half it's an inch and three quarter uh, SAE 3 ace uh, national course so I've cleaned up my workbench a little bit and I've organized all my GT 5000 parts into a smaller pile and culled out a lot of it and I've marked a few things like the spare carbs for the CV 730-0017 uh, Kohler engine for the GT 5000 project and uh, put the ABS away for now and marked the bad starter the one I took out uh, I had an extra course and this it still works it's just as intermittent so I marked it as such bagged it and tagged it because uh, I don't know I see all these car shows where grandpa's car ends up being inherited and then the family goes crazy to restore it spends way too much money on it because grandpa liked it you know I like my Astro van but I don't want anybody to spend a hundred grand on it uh, just because it was mine uh, anyway I'll put that in my will a note I guess for my heirs my heirs I never thought I'd have heirs so but uh, anyway one of the things we'll talk about in the future in a future segment is uh, how to repair the side door on the uh, Astro van and this popper is great this uh, lifetime warranty AA ignition AA ignition there it is popper yeah AA ignition this one's good I bought this online auto lock actuator OEM number I don't know if you can read that OEM two two zero two zero two five six General Motors part number Delray Beach, Florida, GWA Auto Parts Company. A, A, this is as good as the OEM people. As good. So if this information is good for you, and it works on the side door and the van door, passenger and driver, well, this actuator is terrific. It's as good. You know, I, I bought the OEM first. Uh, paid way too much money for the OPM trying to fix the van door and it ended up being cleaning and lubrication and adjustment of the rods that were out of adjustment and I'll show you how to use a uh, a pulley to test this in the future in a future video so keep watching uh, a future video documentary will be how to test these actuators and make sure they can push and pull four pounds or more at least four pounds push and pull and I'll show you how to do that in a future video and uh, hopefully soon I just don't have time right now I gotta run my errands people I'm out of time uh, management is complaining again how long it's taking on this project so but if I get the radiator in and I get it running I'll take it to the muffler shop have a muffler put on it and we'll be rolling and pick avocados but it's Monday the 23rd of September Monday the 23rd of September 2024 Dennis Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions thanks for watching 
Hello audience, my name is Dennis Seitzma. It's Monday, September 23rd, 2024. It's 6.38 in the p.m. Sunsets in 7.30, so getting too close to sunset to do much outside right now. And uh, for dinner I'll probably just get uh, a can of soup or something. But there's a invest headed towards Panama City, and I got family up there. So I'm waiting for orders. Uh, whether I got to leave Homestead and get up there or, or keep working on this project because there's not much I can do anyway to stop a tropical system or hurricane from going wherever it wants. Uh, got a lot to talk about. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the GT5000 tractor. I got plenty of Woodruff keys. I bought these at O'Reilly for like a buck fifteen each where Kohler you bought this with a Kohler part number for that Kohler Commander uh, Charlie Victor 730-0017 engine. Uh, it'd be four and a half bucks each plus shipping. So by buying these at O'Reilly, that was a better deal for a buck fifteen, and they had them and handed them right to me, no waiting. Now I ordered these online, and I forget what I paid for these, but there's more of them. And quality-wise, they seem to be the same animal as, as you know, they seem to be the, exactly the same. Let me try to get a close-up on that. But this is a Woodruff Key, 3 16th by 3 quarter. Anyway, it's too late, it, you know, if I tried to install these you got to pull a flywheel and I want to make a new brass shim uh, so it's going to take me some time to do that so I'm still looking for the piece of brass I didn't throw it away it's here somewhere but I've been cleaning up and organizing but at O'Reilly uh, I picked up these uh, M8 by 125 by 20 three of them and they're like five bucks there but if you bought these at Napa it's almost double that so I don't know what's going on with Napa, but it's uh, that part number you see there. This uh, M8 by 125 by 20. And uh, I also got some M6 by 1, 10 millimeter. And uh, you see that part number there. Also, what it all right, right? So I got some of these and some of those, and I got my Woodruff keys. So I should have what I need to fix the lawn tractor or attempt it uh, tomorrow, weather permitting. Uh, so let me tell you about my day. This is a documentary or a video diary or a video log, however you want. Okay, first place I went to was Napa on Maori Drive and Sixth Avenue in Homestead. They got one store there. It's a big store. Big, big, big. There had to be, I don't know, 15, 20 people in line and only one agent. So I said, I can't wait an hour in this line. So I left and I went to the post office. I keep a P.O. box in Homestead and they keep jamming it full of somebody else's mail. And for two years now, I've been marking it. I've been bagging it up, marking it as a... Uh, addressee not known uh, and bringing it back to them and they keep doing it so this time I'm gonna take all those pieces of mail and mark each one individually return to sender and then shove it in the mailbox somewhere and let them deal with it because you know this is stupid anyway uh, they ought to figure out what happens when people move it, Homestead, Florida City is a very, very, very transient area, and it's growing like wildfire. I don't know what's going on with my phone here. It keeps dinging and jumping at me. Uh, I got it on the charger right now. But anyway, I decided to put all my tools away, and this is what I got left over in the way of nuts and bolts for the van. And I got to figure out where all this goes you know, or what to do with it. Of course, that I know what to do with. That's the transmission hanger for the transmission lines. 
this is my emergency disconnect I like to use. Uh, I got to clean it up some because if you had an electrical fire, uh, you'd want to disconnect the battery too sweet. So that's what these disconnects are for. And uh, custom car owners use those. And I got a bunch of other little bits and pieces. But I think I found the special bolt I need for the bracket on the back of the compressor. And it was in the bag marked air conditioning parts. Uh, so anyway, we'll see. Uh, so let's see, I told you about the post office. I told you, okay. I finally ended up at Napa in Florida City near the Walmart there. And at the end of the Florida Turnpike. Uh, at the very end of the Florida Turp, there's a huge, it's the busiest Walmart in Florida, I'm told. Uh, management's calling, gotta ha hang on. Okay, I finished talking to management. I've been working on trying to clean these leather seats. I, I've abused them, and that's a little, a little Permatex or uh, aviation forming gasket that I spilled. And, you know, as far as making it pretty, we can do that any time in the future. New carpets, new headliner, uh, you know, Lord, good Lord willing, if this vehicle doesn't get des destroyed in a hurricane. And speaking of it, that Invest is going to Panama City, so everybody's making plans. And it's going to get it awful wet here, uh, tropical, tropical storm warnings here in Homestead. But this is uh, one of the blessings of living in the tropics. But I need to get these avocados off the trees before the winds pick up or I'll have guacamole. Uh, so, anyway, as I was saying, I went to Napa. The people couldn't have been nicer, but I had to send an email and a photograph of the damage. And they're supposed to email me back, and it hasn't happened yet. But the people at the Napa store couldn't have been nicer. And the manager there couldn't have been nicer. And it's right there on US 1 next to the Walmart and Home Depot in Florida City. So that's the store I'm talking about. And uh, I was telling uh, them about my YouTube channel. And uh, so one of the guys pulled it up and subscribed right then. So, and I said, well, you know, you can subscribe or unsubscribe without consequence to me. Uh, I'm happy if you watch and if you decide that it, this isn't your uh, for you then that's cool but anyway it's too late to do much of anything except I'm I'm trying to use some wire looms and dress up the wiring on this trailer and now would be a good time to do that because it's nice and cool and then we've got a nice breeze blowing it's really beautiful this whole place is going to be under concrete in a few years probably uh, it was Everglades forever, but people discovered uh, Southeast Florida, and there's nothing to stop it. There's no way you can stop. They call it progress. There's no way. But I want to do that, and uh, I want to put this bolt back in on the backside of cylinder number one on the exhaust. Now, these are all my go-to things, the things I really like to use a lot of. This ACF-50 is a corrosion preventative for the marine uh, aviation industry. It was made for by the Learjet company. And this is old school stuff, this aerocoil, coil. And it used to be called something else, but I like this penetrating fluid, formerly aerocoil. coil. And I don't know who makes it or where it came from. And for cleaning stuff, I like this gunk foamy, foamy seems to work pretty well. So, uh, <clears throat> that's what Dennis likes. Dennis likes this, Dennis likes that. Uh, but the people at the Napa store, they couldn't have been nicer. And they were like, oh man, brand new radiator and it's got a, got a dent in the core. And you can't, I can't risk this engine. I got way too much time and money in this project to, to risk the in, engine on a little dent in the core when I paid for a brand new one. Anyway, uh, audience, that's it for today, I think. And this is the last segment for today. And I like this stuff, liquid wrench. Now, if it's a lubricating, it'll say right on there, lubricant. 
WD-40 doesn't say lubricant. So pay attention to what it says on the can. If you know, use the right product is what I'm trying to say. And the right product is what works best for you. So thanks for watching. Dennis Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions, Homestead, Florida. This is a video documentary. It is not a how-to. Uh, do-it-yourself work can be dangerous. Uh, death or injury can result. So if you do do-it-yourself work, do it at your own risk. We got a tropical system they're looking at that may hit, go up to the Florida Panhandle. So everybody in Florida is freaking out. It may affect the west coast of Florida as well. So, yeah, got stuff going on. Life in the tropics. Monday, September 23rd. 2018. I, I talked to you about uh, the cost of the things I bought today, but there's, a, there's the track. Except uh, I, I'd have to look it all up and, you know, when I do my shop and I look at three or four websites quickly and decide, and I try to buy everything online because I get in the store, I forget what I went there for. So I like to have it all figured figured out and ordered online even before I get there. I like leveraging the online resources. Oh man, it could be a one or a three. Oh my. There's Panama City's in the bullseye, dang it. My friends over in uh, the Big Bend area, Cedar Key, got it last year. East to the center of the circulation there wow. in the eastern eye wall. Wide yeah. power outages for many Yeah, baby. Yeah, life centuries. in the tropics. And you love the the weather until we have a tropical system or hurricane or tornadoes. Even at way up north of Atlanta, all those other places could hit too. I'm sitting in Homestead, so may not affect me except some heavy rain. Thanks for watching.